Samsung destroys Qualcomm once again. Hey, what's up guys? We're back with the latest Samsung scoop. Exynos is back again. Just like old times, Samsung is trying to gain a full control over the whole landscape of the chips. They're actually manufacturing the Snapdragon 875 chip as well as the Qualcomm 750 processor. There's also a Qualcomm Snapdragon 775 chip that we don't know who is manufacturing. It might be Samsung. The key detail here is that Samsung has a lot of control unlike last year. Now, it's actually officially confirmed that Samsung is working on two Exynos 5 nanometer processors of their own to surpass Qualcomm once and for all. Not just that, but at a cheaper price as well so that even other brands would use them. And that is actually already happening. According to latest news, Vivo is that first brand to use the brand new 5 nanometer Exynos processor. Qualcomm has Snapdragon 775 and 875 chip lined up for next year. These are going to be the main awesome 5G chips. To rival them truly, Samsung is bringing out two of its own chips, Exynos 2100 processor, previously known as Exynos 1000. This is going to be the true successor to the Exynos 990 to rival Qualcomm 875. And now a brand new successor to the Exynos 980. It's a complete surprise. We have Exynos 1080 chip. As confirmed by Dr. Pan, the director of Samsung Semiconductor China Research Institute, he has revealed in an interview that Exynos 1080 will be the first Samsung 5 nanometer chip to have the latest technology. According to Ice Universe, this chip already beats Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor uh, as per latest Antutu benchmark, which is said to be over 650,000. At that score, it absolutely humiliates Exynos 990 chip from last year, which is the flagship chip that Samsung uses on their $1,300 Note 20 Ultra. Not just that, it also surpasses the Qualcomm 865 chip and it's probably going to surpass the Snapdragon 775 chip next year. According to the info provided by RM, this chip is using the latest Cortex A78 cores and the latest Mali G78 GPU. It was further reported that this chip will help Samsung to rival Qualcomm, especially in China. A lot of Chinese brands have utilized Qualcomm for most of their mid-range or high-end and mid-range phones. But now with Exynos 1080, Samsung is giving these brands another good option to rival Qualcomm. It is reported that Vivo is going to be the first brand to use the Exynos 1080 chip inside their high-end Vivo X60 phone. As for the processor announcement, it might be really, really soon. It's very likely that Samsung will be using this chip on their Galaxy A lineup, so we could see this chip coming to the Galaxy A72 5G. As for the truly flagship Exynos processor, it's going to be the Exynos 2100. It's going to be the first Exynos chip to utilize the Cortex X1 ARM core. Not just that, it will be using the latest graphics from ARM, the Mali G78, coming with 14 core configuration. The clock speed of the Mali GPU is said to be similar as the Adreno 660, which will be utilized in the Snapdragon 875. Let's see if Samsung can match the GPU performance or not. As of now, according to the super early leaked benchmark, the Exynos 2100, aka Exynos 1000, actually surpassed is the Qualcomm 875 in Geekbench 5 score. Based on this early benchmark, Samsung is very much closer to the Apple A14 scores, which are actually still higher than both 875 and Exynos 2100. Again, it's very early. The scores will definitely improve with the final product. Now, it's not just the processor. Samsung is also targeting the camera sensors. According to a new report, Samsung has scored second position below Sony when it comes to the camera sensor market. Samsung has sold wide range of cameras to multiple brands including Xiaomi and Vivo. They were able to score a whopping 32% revenue share uh, trailing behind Sony which had a revenue share of 44%. Next year Samsung will continue this trend and introduce more camera sensor that can be used by more brands and not just that they're also working on multiple processors. I have to say next year is very very exciting. Now more Galaxy S21 news. As I've said before Samsung will be having its biggest lineup shakeup ever. The Galaxy S and Note series is about to be sidelined by a new era, the Z lineup. Samsung wasn't kidding when they teased this shot. According to Ice Universe, the Galaxy S21 series will have conventional upgrades and almost no breakthroughs. It's rumored that the underskin camera will make its debut on Z Fold 3 because of poor production, so Samsung might still stick with a hole punch design on the S21 lineup, and perhaps it might be even smaller than the current hole punch size that Samsung has, so there's still going to be some upgrade there. Samsung's main focus right now is on the Galaxy Z lineup. Right 
now they are the top player in the follow market with no competition at all especially with Huawei out of the game and Apple being so far behind. Samsung is literally a lone wolf here and they're about to dominate and make more money than they ever made. So it makes perfect sense to move in that direction. As for the Galaxy S21 series, the standard S21 is rumored to be a Glostic build phone with those core flagship features at a good affordable price. The S21 Ultra is said to be that proper ultra flagship. It's rumored to combine the elements of both S and Note lineup. Again, nothing can be said for sure. We don't know if Samsung's ditching the Note lineup completely. But one thing is certain is that the Z lineup is about to become the new star of the show. So that is all the latest Samsung news. It seems like Exynos processor or I should say Exynos processors, especially with Samsung offering these chips to other brands, it's gonna be really, really good. The competition is about to heat up at a new level. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.